I like Daniel Cormier. He seems like a nice guy, except for that time he cheated. And that other time. And this time, too. But DC seems like a good dude. He's just not very good at his job. DC is a great grappler and better than me. DC is a better fighter than me. DC has more money than me. DC is more famous than me. That should cover all of the comments I get on every video where I disagree with a famous person. I'm aware of those facts already, but you can still comment them below so I can beat the evil algorithm monster. I'm just saying that I already know those things now to save me the time of arguing with you in the comments. Daniel Cormier has become a mainstay on the UFC commentary team, and you can see why they'd want his input. He's a two-division world champion and a Hall of Famer, and on top of all of that, he is an elite-level Olympic wrestler, so his perspective should be invaluable. The problem is that he is pretty consistently wrong about what is happening in grappling exchanges unless they are purely wrestling exchanges. This past weekend during the Carla Esparza Zhang Wiley fight, DC said that Esparza was just about to reverse Wiley despite the fact that Wiley was easily on her way to a tight crucifix. Then in the same sequence, DC said that Wiley couldn't possibly choke Esparza from that position, as if on cue, Wiley then choked Esparza from that position and won the fight. Daniel Cormier comes from wrestling and he has a very strong bias towards wrestling and wrestlers. And he's also been called out previously for the bias in his commentary. You could hear his bias towards the wrestler Esparza in this fight, despite Wiley out grappling her. There were a lot of people giving DC a hard time when he admitted that he used a researcher before pay-per-views and doesn't do his own research for fights. Honestly, that by itself isn't an issue for me. DC is an incredibly busy guy, and if he has someone on his staff do more in-depth research on each fight than he could on his own, then that should make the broadcast better. The problem is, he seems to get stuck on a narrative and can't get off it. Like, he's trying to force in things about the fights that the researcher told him to say, even if the lines that he's being given don't match what's actually happening. In the Esparza case, Daniel Cormier was so set on the narrative of Esparza's wrestling will be too much for Wiley because Esparza is a better wrestler and wrestling is the best. He was so set on that narrative that even when Wiley was seconds away from tapping Esparza, DC is still going on with his bias towards the wrestler. I don't think this is a case of DC not understanding what's happening in the grappling exchanges. I think it's a case of him not wanting to. Daniel Cormier was a fantastic fighter. He is not a fantastic commentator. Could he pass my guard? I guess there's really only one way to find out, but yeah, he probably could. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments whether or not you like Daniel Cormier on commentary or not. I will see you all next time.